Hey guys, David McCabe, Transformation Specialist from Transform Fitness here. Today's video is going to be a bit controversial. Most PTs would not want this video going up. I'm going to run through everything that you may see on social media or in person with a personal trainer to spot out whether they are actually legit, good at their job, or just trying to get you in so they can actually get money off you. This is what you should know about personal trainers in the fitness industry and their social media. Let's start this off with personal trainers or classes being very cheap. So you see an advertisement for five euro a class or you see personal trainers advertising that they're a tenner an hour. Just saying. That usually is a warning sign because that's telling us why is he offering it so cheap. The fitness industry is so saturated that the only thing that new people can do is lower their prices to try and get people in so they can try and get volume. You need to look at that. That doesn't necessarily mean he's so cheap that he's doing the exact same as every other PT. No PT exactly the same. A lot of people think that we're all the exact same, cut from the same cloth, you get the same stuff. You do not. Just because it's cheap and convenient, doesn't actually mean that it's any good. You see that a personal trainer that can do strength, bodybuilding, conditioning, marathon training, triathlon training, Ironman training, they say they can do it all, that's pure shit. No personal trainer can do it all. For example, I'm not gonna sit in front of you and say that I will get you ready for a marathon. Do I fucking look like that I get ready for a marathon? No. So I'm not going to sit in front of you and you coming to me, I want to get ready for a marathon. I'm going to send you to somebody else that can get you ready for a marathon. That's me professionally doing my job. If a PT says to you that they will get you ready for a marathon and they have never done one, or they don't specialize in it, then don't go. It's the same with bodybuilding. If you go to someone and go, listen, I want to be 10 kilos heavier and the person is not looking like a bodybuilder, I can guarantee you nine times out of 10, they'll not have a clue how to do it. When you see that someone can do this, 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 the list reams, it's pure shite. They always have one thing that they're good at. If they do not have one general thing that they're good at, then they're not good at anything at all. Go on to a personal trainer's page and you see their child is lifting two kilo dumbbells. Oh, look at Johnny, he's lifting two kilos. Isn't that fantastic? I find that that is a show of their character that they have to use their child to promote their own business. If you did your job right, your business would promote itself through its results, its referrals, uh, and obviously its own retention. Don't use your children as advertising boards for your business. If you see it, they want you to look at it and go, oh, no, no. Listen, I have no issue with kids because I'm a big kid myself, but don't be using them to advertise your personal training business. I'm sorry. If you see personal trainers pages with more pictures of themselves and their clients, this should be another warning. With their shirts off, shorts rolled up, showing off their legs. It might be great to look at, but you also have to think, why is it only pictures of themselves that they're putting up? And what it shows to me, if it was me looking at it, that they actually either do not have any client before and afters, which would be an awful shame. And then it also says to me that, that they're not proud of their clients which we are, we put up our before and afters a lot, and we are very proud of our clients. And there recently, I put up a picture of myself, which I do not do, but I'm trying to show you a transformation that, you know, it's about consistency. We're in the business of transformations. We go on transformations of our clients, not transformations of ourselves. So if you see that, make it a warning sign that if you don't see any decent before and afters of their clients, then don't go. So you've gone on to Facebook, for example, and you've seen a video of a class going on that there's 40, 50 people in it, and it looks fantastic. I can guarantee you that 35 to 40 people out of that class is doing that exercise wrong. But if that person has put up that video without correcting those people first, and are not comfortable with those people doing those exercises, then why did that video go up? Now, General public won't see this, so they just see the numbers. Oh my God, it's very busy, he must be very good. In the professional side of things, we look at it and go, oh my God, there's seven people in that corner not squatting properly. We'll see it a mile away. And you'll go to that class because of the numbers, and I can guarantee you, just because of the numbers doesn't mean that they're any good either. So they're putting the video to show up volume, they're not showing up the video for quality. 
So as I mentioned earlier on, if you see no before and after pictures of their clients, whether they do, whether whether it's classes they're advertising or whether they're advertising one to ones, if they have no um, before and afters or sincere testimonials, like I'm talking about sincere testimonials of their clients, not of their mams. Oh, he's a lovely lad. I go to him all the time. He's never home for his dinner, so he must be busy. You need to look at these things. They're obviously not doing their jobs. Okay, you need to see before and afters. That is their job. If you're looking to lose weight, you wanna see proof that that person can do that job. So if you see none of these things, warning, don't go. Fake pictures and fake results. So you see these pictures that go up and they're, there's filters on them or they're Photoshop or bogus results. There recently, I put up a before and after picture. Jason got a message later on that day to say that the results weren't real. Piss off. But I needed to show people that it is all about consistency. And that did actually happen. Jason was there for the pictures. There was no editing of that picture. We don't edit any of our pictures. We do them, we put them up, gone, done. So it's real. But when you see fake pictures, there's obviously a reason why they're edited. So you need to be aware of that and fake results. This one keeps coming up to me all the time. You cannot measure body fat in centimeters because you can melt butter down, put it into a bottle and then me measure the, the diameter of that bottle. I, it's, it's nonsensical to think that you can actually measure fat. You can measure it as a body percentage and then approximate the, about, the amount of weight that f f the, the amount of fat that's on your client, but you cannot measure fat in centimeters. It's impossible. So if you see 17 centimeters of fat loss of everywhere, bogus, it's not real. They've lost about seven, 17 centimeters all over. That's fine, because that's shoulder width, chest width, abdomen and waist width, hip width, everything. If you see bogus measurements, then that's another warning sign up. BTs that say that they have no time. If you see a post that goes up and say, listen, I can't get back to you, it's too busy. I can't even breed, I'm that busy. Then they are saying to you that they can't help. The way that I would look at it is, is that that person would want some sort of acceptance and people to acknowledge that that is the way they are. You're in the business of helping people. If you're in the business of helping people, you help them. My, I'm doing this on my lunch. I'm up every morning at five to five, I'm in here to do my cardio before my clients at half six. I'm here then till half 11, I go home and eat, or I do this on my lunch, I reply to people on my lunch. If I have a spare minute, I will reply on in those spare minutes. I go and train again, I come back in at half four, and when I'm finished at half nine, I then reply to clients when I get home to the annoyance of my partner, Claire. That's not hard, that's your job. It's the hardest thing to send a message to someone for help. It's the hardest thing for someone calling for help. And if you're telling them, I'm not getting back to you for ages because I'm too busy, then get out of the job. That's my two cents on that one. So guys, they were my top tips on what you should know about personal trainers and social media. So if you liked the video, give it a like and share it below. If I've missed anything that you've noticed on personal trainers pages or stuff like that on social media, then hit the comments below. And if you can, please go on to YouTube and please subscribe to the Transform Fitness channel. Soon, we'll be putting up training videos, nutrition videos, recipes, and general fitness stuff like that. We will see you soon. Toodaloo.